Hi, cuties. We need to talk. So it's very late right now, so we're gonna try to keep it quiet. I'm trying to redo my bookshelves right now because I need to add all the books that I, I hauled in my massive book haul video. But I have some things on my mind and I would like to talk about them. So this is my new series I'm calling Little Thing. Because I like to complain about things or really just talk about things that don't really matter in the long run. There are so many problems going on in the real world that are much more important, but sometimes you need to talk about the little stuff. So that's what we're doing today as I work out this mess, this monstrosity. Well, first I gotta take all this stuff off. And see my koala? I got him at work and because he was in a bunch of stuff that was in the back room that we didn't need anymore. So I got a koala. I have a wide collection of Samwise's feathers. First thing I want to talk about is Arashi. I haven't spoken about Arashi in a long time, but I'm still their devoted fan. I love my boys so much, but they released a statement mostly because it's Ono, Ono Satoshi for those who don't know. After 2020, they are all going on a break. They want to explore new things, new endeavors, and like, come on, they've been working their butts off for many, many a year, since 1999, even before that, because they hadn't debuted, they were in Johnny's, but hadn't debuted until 1999, but they have been you know, this group constantly without breaks for 20 years, 20 years of being a boy band. And I think they deserve some time off, but everyone's freaking out. They're just going on a break. It's not that big a deal. Like, I don't think people understand that they're also human and they need breaks. And I want my boys to be okay and live long, happy lives. They're almost 40 years old. They need a vacation, you know? They need to figure out what they want to do once they stop making music. And I know it's a sad concept to think about, you know, them not making music because I love Odyssey music, but people change over the year. I know I have. I'm basically a booktube now, and that's a huge change from when I was just making short videos from when I was studying abroad in Japan. It's been a long journey. I have now been on YouTube for 12 years and I change constantly, my interests change a lot and someday I probably won't be making YouTube anymore because let's be real, it's never done much for me anyway. <laughs> At least financially. So I just want people to understand that people change and they need a break. Odyssey doesn't exist solely for you. These men do so much and I mean they already do. They do acting and singing and dancing and show does news. Ono does art. Iva does his animal show stuff. Everybody does other things. They deserve time to explore those things. That's my little mini rant about Arashi. My next rant is about tidying up with Marie Kondo. Now here's the thing, I haven't actually watched the show yet because I've been busy. I have two things that I want to say about Marie Kondo. Number one, her name is Marie Kondo, not Marie Kondo. And it kills me every time somebody calls her Marie. Like I get the Kondo thing because Americans don't know how to pronounce stuff, but her name is not Marie, it's Marie. It's not Marie. That's an English name, she's Japanese, and it's killing me every time I see somebody do a vlog or something and call her Marie. Like, oh, she says it. It's not like it's never said. It's not like you're reading it in a book and you're like, I don't know how that's pronounced. She says it right at the beginning. She says, my name is Marie Kondo. Not hard. I have so many little trinkets, oh my God. Xandar, do you think anyone's ever going to pronounce Marie Kondo's name correctly? It's very doubtful. The second thing about Marie Kondo's show is I know it's called Tidying Up because she's all about, you know, purging unnecessary things or unwanted things really. And people have been freaking out over her saying you should get rid of all your stuff. And a lot of booktubers have been freaking out over her saying you should only have 30 books. That's not what she says. I checked the clip. She says she only has 30 books. She wants people just to have things that spark joy. And that doesn't mean like you hold it and you're just so happy. It means it has meaning to you, okay? So for myself, these books all have meaning to me because I want to read them. There's something I'm interested in. I don't have a book that I don't want. It's the same thing with all your clutter and stuff, all your knickknacks. If it doesn't serve you any purpose of bringing you happiness or nostalgia or whatever emotion you want, you don't need it. 
you just don't need it. It's just about getting rid of things you don't need that serve you no purpose that add to more frustration in your life. Because I know people who get so stressed out about cleaning and clutter, but they become immobilized that they can't do anything about it. And that's what Maria Kondo is trying to help people with. I would love to kind of have her job and go in and be like, do you need this? Okay, it's gone, gone, gone. No, I haven't even gotten to the point of putting the books on the shelves yet. So the way I do my shelves is just alphabetically. Well, technically I have my TBR shelves and then my line of books that I've read and kept. This is the Bardugo shelf. Wee -wee 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 -wee. I have so many books, man. I really do, but I'll never unhaul them. I don't do unhauls. There's a lot of booktubers out there who unhaul books that they haven't read. And I'm like, ah, why would you do that? Because you don't know, maybe you would have liked that book. God dang it, Barnes and Noble. You and your Barnes and Noble exclusive edition stickers. This is a pet peeve freaking stickers. So those were the two main topics that I wanted to rant about as I work on this. Okay. And there's still room for more. Hope you guys have enjoyed me late at night saying things, words coming out of my mouth, being recorded onto this camera. This is me when I don't have any plan. Good night, everybody. Um, so if you have... Don't you be possessed again, Xandar.